Everybody and welcome to the new m &R vlog. This week, I'm gonna try to do something big in this room. The shelves, as you may have noticed, have kind of been thinning out over time. I'm gonna go to Target right now and we are gonna get some more bins. I'm gonna dust stuff and uh, put it in the, the bins for safekeeping until I move out within a year, hopefully. So just like forward thinking stuff right now is what I'm trying to work on. Maybe a couple large ones or maybe a third or fourth large one. Um, just, I mean, I just want to do a little bit, so maybe just two for now. We'll fill these up and that'll be good. Make sure these are the great lids. That seems like them. All right. No way. So I ended up buying this, which is like, I don't know, apparently you just put it in the microwave and it's done in a minute, which is pretty sweet. And then I got some chicken here that my dad just made. They're about to put it away, but I got back in time. So this is what, 60 seconds? We're gonna try it. Thank the pasta is actually really good. It has an extra bit of flavor that I'm not used to, uh, used to like regular pasta out of a box having. So I have been chilling on our wall stars live stream. Uh, we're just chilling and chatting. I do need to get to work with those bins that I got. I figured I'd use one of the bins for all Harry Potter sets. I need to turn this down. A little bit too loud, but. I need to use one of the bins like for all the Harry Potter game. sets. And um, I got my comparison obviously filmed now, so that's great. But yeah, there's uh, some work that needs to be done. A lot of dirty stuff needs to be dusted and put into storage. I mean, this set is, probably should just buy a brand new one, right? It's, those black pieces get scratched bad. Um, anyway, yeah, let's work on this area. Is it your Palmer Brevis? My Palmer's what? Your palmar brevis, it's a muscle of the hand. It's part of the brachial plexus. You could be making every word you've set up so far and none of us here could correct you. Relatively early actually, 9.30 a.m. And I got some chicken biscuits from McDonald's because they're good. Well, some Hogla, really good podcast or YouTube series, kind of both. Um, but yeah, I don't know, what I, it's Saturday. I'll probably try to chill today, but I'll probably work on something. I still, I didn't really make much progress on that. Uh, that pile that I showed you guys yesterday because I ended up on that uh, hangout call or whatever for five hours or something ridiculous. So I edited the Imperial Landing Craft comparison and so it's about 10.30 a.m. I'm gonna probably take a nap because I did only get like four hours of sleep last night. It's waking up now around 2 p.m. and I think Corey was in here earlier. <laughs> he was like tapping on my bed. I don't know if he's still here or not though. It was a couple hours ago. I found him. What did you say about uh, Palpatine earlier? Where your safety is concerned, about his nose? No he had a big nose. <laughs> Keep insisting, Master Jedi. What are you building? Huh? What are you building? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. And I'm gonna. Where did my clones go? I'm gonna separate out some clones into bags. No. No. Run for. How did you let him catch you, you no. idiot? Oh my god. No. He's gonna delete it. Body slam. No. <laughs> Do not break anything. Flag it for copyright. You just gave him. You just gave him permission to upload. You said upload your stupid video on film. I have it. You sue him for copy strikes. All right. <laughs> I'm reading Asko in our comments and watching Clone Wars. Savage about to find Darth Maul. And I still can't believe they brought Darth Maul back. It was a great move, though. It really made Clone Wars and Rebels and Solo and those things a lot more interesting. It is a beautiful Sunday. We're gonna go to Target and I need more bins, I think is what I'm going to Target for. Other than just to kill time because I'm bored and it's Sunday and I don't want to work on YouTube videos because it's Sunday, it's supposed to be my day off, but I'm still gonna go home and make ass coming on anyway because I can't not work on stuff. Looks like we finally have some of those stickered boxes here in the, the other Target. Uh, no Star Wars stickered boxes, no. Not getting anything in for Star Wars. Harry Potter Quidditch match sticker box. Hmm. I am looking for the Lego Harry Potter game, but I don't see it, even though it says it's in stock. Ah, there it is. Just filmed Ask MNR 129 here on Sunday. I uh, I still need to, I've been saying this for like a week. I need to film my Snowspeeder uh, review and the Avengers Tower review. I honestly don't know if I want to do an Avengers Tower review at this point. Like part of me just feels like I'll review the new one when I get it. And then the more important reason I actually have this one is to do that comparison video of the two. I don't know. I don't know. I, I should just do the review on it though. I'm sure some people would watch it. I just, to me, I was like, yeah, 
why not just make the comparison? Cause that's what I really bought it to do. So I ended up buying this at Target because 60% of people said it did not count as buying Lego. So I got a majority approval. It is a video game. It's not Lego, which was again, the idea of that video. So I'm gonna get this set up and probably film my first uh, episode of the playthrough on it because that's kind of what I bought it for was to uh, play it on the PlayStation and make some videos with it. It's like 3 a.m. Sunday night going into Monday and uh, watching Clone Wars. Just finished editing Ask m &R. 24 minutes? That was a doozy of a video to edit. Probably took me a few hours. I've just been kind of working on it on and off, but yeah, that, I mean, it adds up. Monday morning and it's early if you can't tell by the shadows. So, we're getting Chick-fil-A. Ooh-wee, honestly I'd go inside and sit down and eat, but uh, that's not open yet. I'm still hoping they open that up soon. I just finished my UCS Imperial Shuttle rumor video. That's just starting to upload and I totally remembered that the Star Wars Squadrons reveal trailer is coming here in a minute. So I might give y'all a little live reaction to this. Man, if y'all think my YouTube live stream chats are bad, look at this one. Everyone's just saying gonk. We'll swap it over to live chat, see more gonks. Oh man. All right, three minutes. All right, the countdown nears its end. Let's see what they have to offer. Graphics looking pretty sharp so far. Very sharp. I'm sure that's a uh, cutscene graphic, so you know. Vengeance will be ours. Bespin! That's hot. I think it's Bespin. They gotta make a new tie interceptor now though. That's gonna be the main point of the game. I don't I don't know what to think about it. It's just like a theatrical trailer. Gameplay will decide my fate on that. Alright, I'm doing a premiere. I don't usually do premieres. I just randomly decided to do one for this video because it felt right. My chat is no better than the other chat. It's just all F. Editing this video has been quite a grind. I'm only three minutes into the 35 minute recording it that number goes down as this number goes up if that makes sense so i recorded about 35 minutes of audio for these uh lego star wars somerset pictures and it's just gonna take a while to get through that's just it you know it's 35 minutes of audio and then for every like a minute of audio i get through you know you got to put pictures in you got to do a ton of things to to make it actually look good so it's um you know this is probably going to be a good three hour edit to get through it's um this is gonna be a doozy video i'll tell you that hopefully and i'm pretty sure it will uh do very well. I think this is going to be a good one. It took me like five hours to edit and make or something like that, but I'm doing a final check to make sure that all the audio is um, there because it was such a large project and, you know, I think it's going to be a huge video. I do not want to F it up, so I'm just making sure because it hasn't happened in a long time, but there was a time like a year and a half ago where like, I don't know, once every few months, some random project would just be missing a clip of audio. So it'd be me talking, me talking, and then it would just go blank for a minute. And it's like, that's not ideal. So I'm just making sure it's all there before I press render. And it looks good to me. So we're gonna send her out. I was looking for the instructions for this set so I can finally film the review. And I've ended up just digging through these and there's some cool stuff in here. Um, I'm gonna, I gotta wrap uh, some of these um, catalogs. I gotta find my other catalog, but yeah, some stuff needs to be put in. Uh, I bought all these plastic protectors like a year ago, and that, maybe longer than that, and uh, yeah, gotta gotta get through this. Gotta find those instructions uh, that I'm actually looking for. Clock just struck 5 p.m. Just took a nap for like four hours. My box is here, though, from, yeah, you can kind of see it peeping through there, from the LEGO Ambassador Network, and there it is. Everything in here LEGO did send me for free, which is great. Today, however, I believe is June 16th, so what is called two weeks into June. Today, ironically as well, um, everyone had the Lego Mario sets, which are about six weeks before release. These came out two weeks ago, and I just love how late these show up to me. And no, it's not a shipping problem. The shipping method LEGO uses is very fast. As soon as it's shipped, it's very fast. It took like five days or whatever. Um, you get a notification that it's shipped. It's a, we don't ship it until two weeks after it's released problem to you, apparently. Cause Just Too Good got these two weeks ago. And also just because, um, just like the extra FU on top of it, this, I don't know, this isn't even Lego's problem, but just the, you know, of course it happens. Um, before I even get in here, the boxes are probably squished considerably because this box is 
you know, just because, why not? I, I would have bought these had I known they weren't gonna get them to me until two weeks, 16 days after they came out. Let's see, got the bubbles on top, that's great. Looks like, uh, no, I mean, I would assume that they should be. <laughs> you know I care about my boxes. There's, I mean, there's no way around it. That one's, that one's, that's just so disappointing to me. Wonderful. This one, I hope you can tell, is uh, nicely indented in the front. That's a that's something they're doing new with the boxes, is they're actually giving them some nice curvature to them. You can actually use it as a bowl if you'd like. Two weeks late, and they are just for good measure. Give them a good old, <laughs> give them a good old stomping on the way out the door. Oh yes, the classic. The classic, it's the it's the hourglass classic here. Thank God my second least favorite set of the Waves box is perfectly fine. I was really worried about Garop here. I don't even want to know what the astronomy tower looks like. Do I have to know? Could I just review it out of this brown box? Nice. These are the worst boxes I have ever received or purchased in any way, shape, or form in my life. Especially for a brand new set. I think that should go without saying. Um, you know, maybe maybe there's been a set that was 20 years old that I purchased that came along that obviously was just, had a decrepit box that I might've just thrown out. But what am I supposed to do with this? I, I'm like, I'm not even gonna be able to stand it up for my review. To, to... I'm gonna go play basketball down at the park. I'll see you there. So I am very excited to be playing uh, basketball again. I'm also really looking forward to playing um, softball again. I don't know when that's going back. Probably not until like the winter or the fall or something. A couple more months, probably at the very least. I would hope they start up a fall season though, like in August or something, but really looking forward to softball coming back. Um, probably gonna start hitting the gym again soon. It's kind of nice. So we're gonna go play basketball, get my mind off some things. Go Felt good to see everyone again. I'll tell you that it's been like three months since we've all played together. Man, that was nice. I, I don't know how else to explain the feeling. It's been a while. I decided to do a little dusting. I, I just dusted off the shelves. I'm not actually dusting the sets, but I, the shelves are uh, really bad. So I decided to clean a couple up and uh, just reorganize some of the sets so it looks nice in the background. Needed to be done. Still not happy about the boxes. <laughs> what do you mean it's two different people? It's clearly the same person. What do you mean, which is there? Oh, you can't see in the, if you go on the YouTube chat, you can see that it's obviously me. He gone! So of course the Harry Potter stream happening a little bit later on today. We have to go pick up Corey. Then we're gonna go get lunch and stuff before we come back and live stream our building. But uh, yeah, always bring in a lint roller to clean off the uh, blanket before I start streaming a new stream. This small section of the vlog is for you dog lovers. There's a dog leaning out of the car in front of us. There you go, that's all the content. Oh, it's looking at us, oh Jesus. Is that the only thing you're bringing? Yep. Shut up, dog. Hey. It's the only set you're bringing? You don't have more? No. Really? Corey refuses to forget that his birthday was three months ago. Yep. Three months ago. Unbelievable. I thought it was yesterday. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you got? What do you got? What are your sealed sets you built? That one has an exclusive link to go inside. Which one? It does say exclusive mm -hmm. minifigure, yes. but it doesn't tell you which one. No. <laughs> That's actually kind of dumb. Oh my god. It... Woo! We made it. Alright, we're going to Target. Dave said that there are some potentially very good deals at Kohl's. He got some stuff 90% off, so. Really? Yeah, that's why we have to be here. Yeah, two well, I don't know if they have poor anything necessarily that we might want or anything at all here, but at his store, they did. So we'll see. Deal's empty. You can see the Lego section from a mile away. Oh, I have uh, Slim Pickens. I got this, I haven't seen that in a while. Oh, it's, it says it's 25% off, we should go check it. All right, moment of truth. Is it like 90% off? Scan? It won't scan. It goes anyway. Oh, well, there it goes. That's half price. They got more sets on clearance right here. In front of your face. This is, so this is 15 bucks, it's half price. 
You can't get it though. Yeah, but you can. I, I already have it. You don't have it, right? It'll go. This goes perfectly with the set you're about to build. Really? Yeah, you don't remember the movie? Which one? Solo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you should get that. I didn't know what movie 15 bucks. Probably go scan it. That one's 26. These are probably all 50% off, but we'll go scan one of these just to check. I don't I don't need any of these, but if they're like a dollar, I mean, I'm gonna buy them, right? A lightsaber? Well, these are funky looking. Say something loud. Shh, don't say anything. Uh-oh. Clearance minifigs. He's gotta be like two bucks. You need some? Yeah. Let's go, we'll go scan one. Hold on to that. We can get, you can get more if you want more after we scan it and make sure it's $2. Oh man, you're having a wild day. I'm living vicariously because I can't buy anything. <laughs> we just gotta check all. No, I'm not jealous. <laughs> we gotta check all the aisles, make sure there's nothing straggling before we check the rest. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the good stuff gets hidden. All right. That's what? Pizza van? No, it's not on clearance. No, it's not pizza. Oh, ice cream van machine that came out in January. The A-Wing is not on clearance. No. The hut is not on clearance. And we can check it, but it uh, doesn't have a sticker. So probably not. Do you want to check it? Because you said you wanted to get it, but the A-Wing. Right? Yeah, we'll check it. I is doubt it. Clearance? Probably not. No. no? You don't have it? No. We can check them both, but I, like I said, I don't I don't think so. Nope. Nope. All right, scan your bag. Two bucks. Two bucks. Right. Sorry, I'm buying some. How many? All right, nice shady spot at Jason's Deli here. We're gonna actually run in Joanne's first. Wait, Joanne's first real quick because much like uh, Cole's, you know, they got a small Lego section. You never know what you could find. Anything you need? Nothing good? Some minifigures for four bucks? Even though you just got some for two? What? Yeah, I got, I got a better deal. You did get a better deal. Oh man, what happened to their Lego set? They used to have an entire Lego section. And now they have like six sets. That is borderline depressing. 30 bucks, that's on sale. These are, they must have clearance out their entire These are worth like $100. I think I have to buy them. I might sell mine. You're not selling yours. You don't want to sell it. <laughs> You'll regret that. But yeah. I think I have to buy those. Buy it. I'm going to buy it. <laughs> They're worth too much money to pass on. Oh, man. Yeah, that's going to be it. I made it, what, 17 days? Longer than I expected. Well, shorter than I expected. Look at that. Pick them up for me. Oh. All of them. Alright, thanks for the 501st Battle Pack. Yeah, you're welcome. Shut up, kid. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's see what else I got. Hey. Nothing else on here. Can you even hold them right? Oh. So they moved their Lego section. It's smaller than it was, I think, but they, uh... They still have some stuff at least. I thought they had just completely given up on it, which is, which was uh, That's sad the to see. Worst box I've ever seen. That's the worst one you. Oh, that one? Well, wait till you see my Harry Potter sets. At I home. know. I saw yeah. it. I don't know if that's the worst one. Hmm. It looks like a ball of box. Oh, yeah. So it turned out to be a better deal than expected. Well, it cost yep. $30 each, not $40 each. So. And I think they retailed for $50 each. If I remember correctly, maybe I'm wrong. They must have retailed for 40 but I gotta look that up. I actually don't remember for some reason. But yeah, we're gonna walk over to Jason's Deli, and uh, I yeah, I, I lose. I'm still not. I'm still gonna try to not buy things, but I had to buy these at $30 a piece, and they're worth over 100 each. Like, do you blame me? Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, okay. Jason's Deli first thoughts. Good coke. What do you got? 
Out of 10. Not very saucy. Not very saucy. Score out of 10? I'll give an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, not very saucy, okay. We're here for Baby Yoda and Endor. You make it Endor? The one with the Ewok, because you like the Ewoks apparently now. All right, so this is the set. You want that no. destroyed box? No. That's what it is, so you can think about it, come back later, get another day, doesn't really matter. You can also get the, the new Summer 2020 Anakin and Obi one. You can get them early in this set, Summer 2020 minifigures. No. No? I'm telling you, early in that set, we hit the jackpot. What about this other one? That one's too... Yeah. His head is... Yeah, I don't know if Not I like that one soft. as much. Rough and, and coarse. And rubberized. Really big. This one's cuter. Let's, yeah. see. Let's see them next to each other. I yeah, like that, the mouth more on that one. That one's definitely one, though. cuter, though. I like the mouth more on that one. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that one's taking the cake. People had told me I needed to buy that one. I am not buying that one. I don't like it very much. I'm going to kill Baby Yoda now. <laughs> he must die. All right, Corey's got his stuff in here. He bought, what do you got? Buy the Baby Yoda and the, the uh, sets from Solo and the minifigs. And then I got my stuff over there to build. I'm about to set up the, about to set up the whole live streaming thing, which I've mostly been ready for. All right, we're gonna move this all up. Thumbnail is done and being added whenever I can find it. Why don't I see it? There we go. Okay, there's the thumbnail. There we go, live build for today. And we are gonna make this a public stream scheduled for, what time is it now? 34. Tell me what time it is. Looks like OBS and the camera are working. I put some time in last night to try to better understand what is causing my problems with that. And I think I understood it and now I've kind of forgotten what I understood. You see it? It's working? We're in the thumbnail change. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. The live stream setup is coming along. It is uh, slowly getting there. It almost looks good to me. Yeah, I need to edit more, move some more things though. Nothing so super niche, but uh, yeah, we are almost done with this live stream here. It's been quite a crazy one. Yeah, it's Corey in the reflection. Corey didn't even finish his build. Incredibly, it's the slowest builder I have ever seen in my life. I'm sorry. It was too technically hard for him for an age nine, 9 to 14, so we got a huge mess over here. I built the four privet drive set and the Hogwarts Room of Requirement set, and I started the the Astronomy Tower here. I got the greenhouse done, so that's that. But yeah, huge shout out to everyone uh, hanging out for the day. It's been a crazy one, but um, yeah, we got to clean up here because I got to do the podcast. Happiest day of my life. Corey got a hundred dollars. Washington's. Wash. That's a Benjamin. Oh, ben idiot. yeah, uh, yeah. It's okay. Benjamin. You said you never had one. Yeah. People okay. donated so much goddamn money on that stream. YouTube takes like thirty percent of that at least, and app depending on if they used Apple, but still, like that's insane. So, yeah, I give Corey a hundred of that. You pleased? Yeah. Yeah. Happiest day <laughs> of my life. Bye bye, everyone. <laughs> Even though we're still not live. Just dropped Corey off at his house. He is ecstatic because he got a hundred dollar bill today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's his first hundred dollar bill. Um, I am going home now. We're gonna do bricks and mitts, which is gonna take you know probably two hours from start of my production end to to finish. I have some work to do on it here, but uh, yeah, very much looking forward to that the episode. I think it'll be a fun one as usual. It's Thursday now, so I am. I finished building the uh, astronomy tower, so that's a done and finished build. Very excited to get all these reviews done on the Harry Potter sets. Um, the other one, the Ford Favorite Drive over there. So I'm going to be setting up my whole like review thing here. And um, the other thing that happened today is uh, some website got to interview the designers of the Final First Battle Pack. And I'm not even going to say anything about that. Um, yeah, I that's I just wanted to put it out there that another website got to do that. So, um, let's uh yeah, let me make my videos get my mind off that. I have decided I want to go get a haircut, so we're gonna go do that now. <laughs> Post haircut update. It is short. We got short hair again. Thank God. So happy about this, man. This has been a long time coming.